Uh, but they 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 said uh, you want to look at the spine. I said fuck it, why not? After I did my my little workout, I pumped. You see the shoulders, you see the shoulders. I'm wearing cashmere. This cashmere is like a fucking like a Persian cat, soft. People come up to me, they hug me, they go, oh that's a nice sweat. I got no, don't don't. It's not a, it's not an animal. Don't touch it. Don't come too close to the cashmere. Okay, you could admire it from afar. You're lucky you got to touch what you touch. Don't fucking linger. Don't pet me. Uh, but uh, they said, you want to see the spa? I said, fuck it, why not? It smelled good. Uh, so they took me into the spa. They said, we got a whirlpool. We got a, uh, a, a dry steam. We got a steam room. We got showers. We got everything. I said, you know what? I'm going to go in there. And uh, I said, you got anybody on hand right now that could give me a massage? They said, somebody actually just canceled. I said, are they strong? They said, yeah, it, it happens to be the strongest person we have, I, which I knew was bullshit. I knew they were just selling it, but I was like, fuck it. I wanted the massage. I wanted the experience. So I, I went into the room. Lady came out. She gave me the massage. The massage was half ass. I've said it once. I've said it a gazillion times. When I am getting a massage, I'm not there for the polite, you know, like the tickles. Uh, they had the contraption where she could have stood on me. It was like, a, you would have thought you were in a sex, drun a sex dungeon. But she said she don't walk on backs. I said, y you don't want to walk on back? You could hold on to the thing. She said, no, I don't do that. But I'll go deep. I said, you use elbows and knees? She says, I, I don't use knees. I already knew this wasn't going to be a great massage. But I'm butt ass. I'm butt ass on the table. She said, you'll enjoy it. Nonetheless, the massage was fine. It was, it was fine, but I, I need the fucking elbows. I need heels. I need feet. I'm not in there to be lightly touched. I want that fucking deep tissue. I want to be able to, I want, I want to feel, I want to have to breathe like, <sighs> while that elbow's in my back, while that elbow's in my hip, I want to have to breathe through it. She did a great job. She did, she did the best she could. I should have known. It's a white lady. I'm just going to say this. If, if you're getting a massage, if, if you're going to get a white lady, they have to be at least 200 pounds. Otherwise, just go for an Asian Thai massage. And I know people say, oh, that, there's exceptions to rules. I'm just saying. And I don't mean any disrespect. If that masseuse is watching, you, were, I tipped her good. Because anybody who's working in the service industry right now, do your best to tip people that are working in the service industry because people are fucked up out here. So I, I didn't complain. I took it because you can tell it's like as soon as she started touching me, I knew it wasn't going to go the way I wanted to. But I just laid there. I tried to meditate. I, I tried to relax. I was getting ready for my shows. But that's where the fun only began. Because after the massage, I said, I want to explore the, uh, the spa. And I didn't have a bathing suit with me. And uh, I had sweated in my, my underwear. And I was like, you know what? I'm 51. I'm in Orlando. You know, I grew up uh, sometimes going to my father's tennis club in New York City. And when you'd go through the tennis club, I was thinking about this while I was making this executive decision. I would think about the men, old, primarily white men in the tennis club, butt-ass naked, no shame in their game. They got lint. They got tissue all over their, they're fucked up. It didn't haunt me. It, it was never weird. Like, they're just in the locker room. Then nobody was worried about being chest naked, being cock naked. And I said, you know what? I, I don't want to wear my, my sweaty underwear. I'm 51, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be like, I don't need a bathing suit. I got cock naked. I went to, to all, all the services. I went into the dry steam 20, 20 minutes cock naked. I wrapped myself in a towel, but I'm walking around there chest naked, obviously cock naked. I, I, I got myself some water. I went into the, the wet steam, but ass There's people coming in and out. I don't give a fuck. There's no cameras in there. You're not going to take a picture of me. Then I went into the whirlpool again. I could have went into the whirlpool with my sweaty underwear because who cares at that point? But I'm like, for what? I'm 51. This is the way the guys did it in the 70s and the 80s when I would go visit my father at the, at the tennis club. No one cared. Everybody's too self-conscious. And these were older men. And I said, this is, the, this is the point in my life where I go, I, I don't give a fuck. We're all in here. These guys are walking around in bathing suits, Speedos, shorts. I'm like, 
I'm butt ass. We're in men's locker room. Right, David? Fuck a men's locker room. I don't care. You're, you're, you seem young. How old are you, David? 30. 30. Well, you're not there yet. You're not there. You'll get there. You're just like, fuck it. Cock naked in the, in, 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 in the, in the steam room, in the whirlpool, floating around. My dick's floating around. I don't know what's on my body. <clears throat> when I am getting out of the whirlpool, the gentleman says his name was George. Thick Filipino accent. Thick. He spoke very good English, but he had a thick accent. I said, where are you from? He said, Filipinos. I said, Manny Pacquiao's my guy. He said, uh, he's retired. He said, yeah. He says, I know who you are. I said, oh, yeah? He says, uh, yeah, can I take a picture with you? I said, George, I'm a uh, butt ass, bro. He said, I know, I know, we're big fans. I said, George, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna stop you right here. When I put my clothes on, Georgie, I'll take the, I'll take the selfie with you, okay? But one of the reasons why I'm feeling cock, cock, uh, I'm feeling good about being cock naked, I'm feeling liberated about it is because this is a men's sanctuary. I don't have to worry about you. Wanting to take, you're not sneaking pictures. You go, no, 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 I never would. He goes, I'm a big fan of prison break. I go, I, I, I get it. I appreciate it all. Let me get dressed. Let me put my fucking shirt. Let me put my underwear and my sweatpants back on. Then we take the fucking picture. He said, yes, 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 I understand. We took the picture. I looked great. Point is, is that I made that decision that day. I'm, I'm not saying that I am going to be on nude beaches, but I'm not saying I'm not. The thing is, the fucking cameras, everybody's got the cameras. But the liberated feeling that I felt as a grown 51-year-old man, uh, you know, I have some gray chest hairs. Most of it's bright red. David, you got bright red uh, pubic hairs? No, he doesn't.